welcome to our video today. I'm Maria of Maria Grace Photography and I wanted to share the one big mistake you may be making when it comes to Facebook advertising. So you'll notice if you're a business owner and you go to your page you have a lot of different options here at the side. It'll show you some of your most recent engagement. It'll show you how to promote and you can scroll down through your posts and see how many people were reached, how many people continue to be reached, etc. So what most people do is they see a post that's doing well. This is well for me, may not, may be a different number for you. Um, you'll see a post that's doing well, or maybe Facebook will alert you that, to one that's doing very well on your page and getting a lot of engagement. And most people will come down and click boost post. This is your big mistake. It seems like an easy thing to do, and it is, and the reason it's so easy is because it's very limited. So when you go to change your audience, all you have for options is location, age, gender, and then you can add a few interests. But really, that doesn't do very much for you because we can't do anything about their relationship status or how many children they have or their income level. So when you just click Boost Post, unless you only want to boost it to people who like your page or people who like your page and their friends, then that's not going to be optimum. And you can just ignore this for now. That can be saved for another video. So don't click boost posts. We're going to hit cancel on that. Instead, a much more effective way of doing Facebook advertising is by going to your drop down menu and clicking create ads. So this is going to load your ad account. And you're going to just going to click for our purposes today this very top selection which is boost your posts. So click on that and it'll load any of the pages that you manage. And for our purposes, I'm going to use my photography page. And down here it'll load a few of the most recent posts. So I'm going to use the posts I just showed you with good engagement. And I've got that selected, change the campaign name to test boosted post. We're going to set the audience and budget. So here's all that you'll see in a boosted post. And this is going to be interest instead of languages. So we can define here if we want to do that. Let's say New York. And we can say... Um, you know, a few different cities, maybe we want to say New York City and target it to people who are living in New York City. And we can do, you know, 25 miles, anywhere from 10 to 50 miles, it doesn't matter. But moving on, here you can choose the age range as well, and then the gender. Now here's where it gets really detailed, and this is what you can't do in your boosted post. You can add a language, so for most people it's going to be English, but let's say you might be reaching out to a Spanish demographic, you can add that as well, or whatever may have you. So let's do Spanish and English. Here we're going to do demographics, and this is really where the powerful part of not just boosting your post is at. So let's go ahead and just hit browse so you can see some of the examples. You can do everything from their education, level of education, associate degree, college grad, doctorate, etc. to ethnic affinity. We can look at financial, their income, and of course these are estimated by Facebook so they might not be 100% accurate, but you can already see how much more detailed you can get than if you just hit boosted posts. So you can choose income level. You can choose in their generation, you know, baby boomers, and we'll kind of explain that out to the side here, you know, people who were born between 1946 and 1964, Generation X. But long story short, look through all of these. If they had an anniversary within 30 days, so let's say you have an anniversary special, you can go ahead and run it and only boost it to people who had an anniversary within 30 days. If they're in a long distance relationship they've got a new job, new relationship, newly engaged, you can see the possibilities are almost limitless. We can talk about their parents, we can target moms. All of these things are not things that you can do in the boosted post. So once you go in and select all of these, let's do trendy moms who are currently married or in a relationship. 
and let's say they're not already connected to our page. So this is another thing you can do. You can exclude people who like your page. So if you don't want to pay to reach your current audience, if you're just trying to reach a new audience, then you would just click that. You can also, you can change that at any time. You can also add a page here. You can add another page or you can um, use these options with your app or with your events. So if your page had an event, something of that nature, you can exclude or include people who attended that event. This here on the right will show you who your audience is reaching. So right now we're looking at age 18 to 65, Spanish or English, within 25 miles of New York City, it's going to be a mom, trendy mom, in a relationship or married. And because of all that, I'm going to go ahead and hit women, which shouldn't really narrow it down too much just because of the fact that we want to reach moms but it did cut down a little bit just because Facebook will be able to be more specific up front rather than when it delivers the ads. And then you'll go down here and you'll select either a daily budget or a lifetime budget. So your daily budget, um, you can run it continuously or set a start and end date. So that would be what you spend per day or you can spend a lifetime budget, which is what I typically do because I have a certain budget number in mind. So I might, you know, spend $350 over the next two weeks. You can choose the start and stop times. You can choose your optimization for ad delivery. Um, this is a more advanced setting. I'm not going to really get into this right now. I would just say unless you really know what you're doing, stick with post engagement for now. Um, yeah, that would just be for another video. And for your bid amount, again, that's a little bit more in depth. So go ahead and just stick with automatic. Facebook will serve it to the most people possible. Now this is important. When you get charged, are you going to get charged every time someone sees your post or every time someone engages with your post? For post engagement, you're going to get charged more per engagement, but if you really feel great about your content, have good content, and you want to make sure you're only paying per clicks, then you would change it to that. If you're trying to reach a broad audience and you aren't sure yet, just stick with impression. Here's a few final options. You can schedule your ads to run only during certain days of the week and only at certain times. So 12 a.m. you can drag all the way through if you want Monday, you know, 12 to 9 a.m., Wednesday, 6 to 6, you can set it whenever you want or you can just run ads all the time. You can change your delivery type, you know, show your ads throughout the day, which they recommend. Again, if you don't know advanced settings, I would say stick with that and then show your ads as quickly as possible. That's accelerated, that's a little bit more advanced. Now this ad set name is saving your specific demographics that you selected. So for this one, I might type New York City trend, Trendy Moms English and Spanish. That's just an example. However you want to remember it, this will actually save your audience so that the next time if you wanna serve you're as the same audience or use that audience as a starting point and then just tweak them, you can do that in the future. So there's your options from there. You'll be able to choose your ad creative, which for a boosted post is going to be pretty easy. Um, you already have all of these options as far as what it already looks like. Here, if you wanted to change to a different post, you could do that. Um, these are conversions. It's a little bit more advanced, so I won't dive into that now, but you can see uh, there is a way to track your conversions on your actual website. And then here is the final selections, whether you want it to show up in the right column of the desktop, which will be over here, mobile news feed, which is on you know any smartphone, and then desktop news feed, which is, of course, on the desktop. Generally, I unselect this, however, it is a cheaper option and it still does get clicks. So you might just want to experiment around with it and see what you like. So there's all your options and you just hit place order and you're ready to go. You can see that with a boosted post, you only get to choose a few demographics and a few interests. Whereas with a, an actual ad, you don't have to spend any more money and you can get a lot more options. You can really target down very specifically. You have a much wider demographic and you can actually see who you're advertising to. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off.